Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your December 2021 Is It In The Cards Love Tarot Reading. This is a love reading for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for your support. I, I appreciate every single one of you and I love reading like this. So I'll continue to continue here. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can come back in a couple of days and watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are different every week. So one week I'll do a, like this love reading. Other weeks I do a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. And then coming up soon, I'll be doing a 2022 year of predictions, a predictive reading for the year ahead. So that'll be fun. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right. What advice do you have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus about love, please. What does Pisces need to know about love for the best and highest good of all concern with Pisces? All right, so we will begin by drawing three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the pe person you're attracting. I almost said people you're attracting. Hey, that could be happening. And three cards on the advice. You've got the magician, the fool, that's cool, and the star, beautiful energy. They have the two of cups, the six of wands, the world. Your advice is the ten of cups, the, Jesus, the page of cups, and the seven of cups. What a beautiful reading. Well, it's in the cards, Pisces, I'll tell you that. You have four major arcana. You've got, this is blessed with love. If you're single or you're heartbroken, you don't need to be, okay? Open yourself up. Allow yourself to be anything. Allow that love to come in. I mean, this is a wonderful energy um, with the magician and the fool and the star. So it's all about your soul's journey here. You are love. I mean, that's really what you are in this earth school here. And so with the fool here, it signals a transition, but it's also telling you that your soul is always victorious. Your soul doesn't hurt. Your soul doesn't get wounded. Your soul is of love. And so you're in this place where you're very approachable. You're very, you're going to be transparent in a relationship. And I feel like that person is going to be head over heels in love with you. I mean, it really is with the fool. It's enthusiasm. It's total trust. It's purity, new beginnings. And there's nothing holding it back. You know, there's no hangups here. This is all about being in that place of almost like a cleansing. Like you go into this, this relationship with, with a totally wide open heart. And so with the magician, you're manifesting it. The magician is all about law of attraction. It's creating a, it's creating your reality. And so with the magician, you have um, these, these flowers represent the manifestations from the garden of your mind. If you can see it in your mind, you will have it in your reality. But the feelings are really the secret. The feelings are the key. That feeling like you already have it. Sometimes we say with the magician, it's fake it till you make it. Um, like feeling like it's already here. Be in love with life. I see somebody in like a flower shop or it looks almost like it's outdoors though. It's like a flower stand and even that kind of stuff where you're just, you know, maybe you're not spending money, but you're, you're walking past things that just make you feel happy. There's a total, you're going to attract people like crazy with this too, because this is that kind of energy where people can't get enough of you. So with the star, that that's that inner peace, that tranquility. It is a card of meditation and being connected completely with spirit, completely with source energy. And it's seeing life through a source's eyes. So you might find too, if you encounter situations that maybe in the past would have frustrated you, you see it differently, you feel it differently, you connect with it so much differently that nothing can get you down in that energy. It's of total love, peace, it's complete acceptance. There's a new life showing up here for you. Um, I definitely feel like if you've met somebody and you're already feeling swept away, it's real. There's genuine, authentic, real love here. And it, it touches every single area of your life. I mean, anybody would love to have this reading. It's just, it's remarkable. So the person that you're attracting here, they, they see forever, okay? They want to spend the rest of their life with you. I, I just feel like this is such a strong connection with that Two of Cups. 
uh, six of wands in the world here. It's a new phase and this is synergy. It's like this cosmic universal connection that can't be broken. They, if you haven't met them yet, when you do, they're going to feel like they've known you forever. That energy, you're already connected with them. And so with this, it's, it's the, you know, the, the world is like that new phase that brings in everything. It's a love that knows no bounds. It's an energy that has no limits. And it's feeling like you finally got it. You, you know, they're going to feel like this is the one. I finally found what people talk about. This is it for me. And so with that six of wands, I feel like too, they feel like they're on top of the world. They feel like too, with both of you, every area of your life is coming together here. So, you know, and sometimes that's part of what love does for us. When we're really in love, problems seem to shrink. You know, the little day-to-day -day stuff, it doesn't matter anymore because we're in such alignment. And that's part of why when relationships start to fail or struggle, we're out of alignment with source. And so we get into that place where we blame the other person and this is being in alignment. So anybody you attract here too, it's high vibrational stuff. It's the kind of relationship that really runs the distance. It's a genuine heartfelt love. And I was going to say too, with that six of wands, I feel like they'll do anything for you. I keep seeing a flat tire. I hate to bring that up because sometimes then people go, oh, Jesus, I manifested one. I started thinking about it too much. But I feel like it's like the kind of person that comes, You, if you need something, they're there. But it almost becomes funny. Like they almost know the two of you together, you know how to make a, a situation be an adventure. It's like the adventure of a lifetime. And especially with the fool too, it's such a carefree, unlimited energy. This is completely unlimited. It's the kind of thing that people around you will envy. They'll be wanting to line up and ask you, how, how did you find each other? Do they have a brother? Do they have a sister? Do they have a grandpa? I mean, you know what I mean? It's that kind of thing where um, it's true, real love. Now, did I already tell you, you have Aquarius, you've got fire, water here. So it could be another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I mean, really, it could be any element with the magician, but those are the most represented here. This moves forward. I mean, the happy family card is here with that Ten of Cups. It's something you've always wanted. It's something you've dreamed about, and it's here. It's right here. It's right now. And it's harmony in every area, though, too. And I feel like the two of you bring richness to each other's lives. Your friends get along. You might even set somebody else up like a friend of a friend. I get that happening too. You're having fun with this though in every area. And especially with that Page of Cups. Page, pages bring optimism. The Page of Cups reminds me a lot of the Fool too. It's like it brings a gift into your life where you're doing new things. You're going out to new places. You're having fun. You're having a lot of experiences together that create those memories, those memories that keep you connected. There's no end to this. I feel like it's your partner for life. You've got a partner for life here, and they're a partner in every aspect. There's no competition here. It's like the two of you uplift each other. You want the best for each other, and it's really it comes from a genuine place. And so with that seven of wands, that's an interesting energy here, but sevens are about moving forward with successful conclusions. So if there's been something from the past, like some X or something that kind of hangs on, I do feel like that moves, this energy just moves you forward. Um, the sevens too are about security, safety, alignment. You don't have to create any energy here because it's already here, right? It's already available for you. And so between the magician and the fool in the world, I mean, you've got the first and the last major arcana. This tells a beautiful story of an, a development and unfoldment. Great things are coming forward in terms of love and a true partnership. I mean, it really is that level of true happiness, bliss, and it's happily, for, happily ever, forever, right? Um, so with this, let's see what the angels have to say for you. But in a love reading, it's by far the best love reading I think I've had in this, in this whole month of December. I don't think I've had any other sign get this kind of love reading. It really brings joy to my heart to see it for you. You've got a new cycle multiple times here, okay? Tens are also are about new beginnings, new cycles, and it's beautiful. It's br a brilliant new cycle shows up here for you. Sorry, I was, those cards were so sticky. I felt like I was continuously getting the same cards. 
you've got abundance here. Well, this is a love that grows, that flourishes, that develops, and you know, enjoy it. Just get in flow with it, be in sync with it. And if those little things are starting to happen, you know, notice that. Be aware of it. Talk to the universe. I see you, universe. I know you're communicating with me. Trust that the universe is always hearing you and responding to you and bringing in your heart's desires. It's up to you, Pisces. So, you know, if there's some change within you, if you, I hear the word maudlin, if you're feeling kind of maudlin, do those little changes now. Get out, run, do some exercise, whatever it is that uplifts you. Take your dog for a walk. Now they say wait, but I feel like when we get weight, it's almost like just wait. You just wait and see how this develops because it really is something special. And they give you a yes. It's that emphatic yes because you create your own reality. You hold the sun in one hand, the moon in the other. And like I said, it's a new cycle beginning for you that brings in everything you've been asking for. So now we're going to conclude with a message from Louise Hay, Life Loves You. I follow my joy. And that's the key to this, okay? If you haven't met him yet, that's the key. Get into your joy and they're going to be there. Your thoughts influence the kind of day you'll have. Name three ways you could make today even more enjoyable than you thought it was going to be. So be focused on the joy. The joy is in the journey and great things. Yes, it's in the cards. I love you too. And I'll be back again soon.